Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. Last week I went over how to block people on Facebook. This week I'm going to show you how to unblock them if you forgave them for whatever they did. I'm going to show you how to unblock people. A uh, week before that I did one on how to unfollow pages and I'm on a Facebook kick right now. So, and I did, I'll put all the links down below so you can actually check those things out. But um, this week I'm going to show you how to unblock people on Facebook. So before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. I come out with every Thursday. That's right, 100% so far for the last year. So let's keep that up, right? All right, so the first thing we want to do, since we want to figure out how to unblock that person we forgave, we're going to go up to the tab up here. Last week I blocked my brother, just FYI, <laughs> but I unblocked him. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Um, we're going to get out of this. This is where I was starting. We're going to go back here. So we're going to go start here. And then what you want to do is you want to go up to, once you're signed into your account, you're going to go up to the um, right side and go to your profile image and where it says account and click on that. That will give you your menu. Then un under this menu, you're going to look for settings and privacy. All right. And then you want to go up to settings right here. You're going to click on that one. And once you do that, you're going to look to the left menu under set settings and privacy. You're going to go down to the section called audience and visibility. And then you're going to look for Blocking. You might recognize this if you watched my last video because this is exactly where you went when you want to block someone. So you're going to click on blocking. And then once you click on the blocking, you're going to get all these manage blocking area. It gives you a lot of things. Restricted list, block users. It tells you why. So if you wanted to read this, this tells you what it does when you block a user. Um, but that's the one we want, actually. So we're going to go over to the edit to the right of it, and we're going to click on that. So once we click that... It's going to bring up this block user. It tells you the same thing it said on the front notes. And does not include apps, games like we did last week. Um, but this time, we want to not add someone to the block list. We want to see your block list because you want to see who's on it. The reason we're going this way, I want to let you know, is that once you block someone, and actually I could not find them searching for them on Facebook anymore because they were blocked. So I don't know if that is common, but mine would not let me find my brother after I blocked him. I had to go into my list here to find them. So just FYI, if you block someone, you're probably going to have to come to this list to find out where they went <laughs> and how to do it. So here we are. Now this shows you everybody you have blocked. If you have a lot of people you have blocked in the past, to search for them, just click the little magnifying glass right here. Click that little switch. It opens up the search bar. So you can actually find them a little quicker this way. But I already know my list is really short, so I'm going to pick the top person to unblock. So we're just going to go over to the unblock next to them. So you find them, go to the right of them, click unblock, and then it's going to give you a confirmation window. It's going to warn you, it says this person may be able to see your timeline or contact you, depending on your privacy settings. Um, tags you and the person previously added of each other may be restored. So some things will be restored because you block them. It blocks some things. It pulls things away, comments and stuff like that. So that's what you do. I think it's comments. Don't, don't quote me on that. Uh, and then you can actually, you can remove tags of yourself on, on your activity log. Please remember, this is important guys. Please remember you'll have to wait 48 hours before you can re-block this person. So FYI, if you want to block them again, they just they made you mad again. <laughs> You're going to have to wait 48 hours before you can do it. But remember, it's very easy to do this both ways. So just watch the last video if you want to block them again. It will show you how to do it. But this is how you unblock them. So once you find out you want to unblock them, you can you just click confirm. Um, now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this person's name so I can remember to block them again because I don't want <laughs> So I'm going to say confirm. And then that's all it does. So now it's going to look kind of light right here. And it's going to say, hey, you, you unblocked them. And this will disappear from your list when you go back into it. So it won't be here anymore. So that's that's done. So that's how easy it is to unblock someone from your list. So let's get out and do this. Watch, I'll show you it's gone. Click edit again. You're going to see who you block. See, they're not on your list anymore. So and if I want to, I'm going to block them when I get done again <laughs> so I can do it. But that's how easy it is to unblock someone on your Facebook account. So if you forgave them, you can unblock them. But remember, if you do unblock them, I found out I had to refriend my brother since that's the one I blocked last week. I'm thinking you might have to do that too. So if you unblock them, then you might be able to contact each other, but you might have to refriend them if you've blocked them before and you want to be their friends. So that's how easy it is. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. That's where all our articles are. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.